this is the, the closest thing to a circus, to, to a carny atmosphere that you ever see in professional wrestling this day and age. I mean, everything uh, is in the form of a 1920s style professional wrestler. This place is so lighthearted and fun. It's just a genuinely good time. Like, it's interactive. Um, it's all the good parts of wrestling. It's different characters. You never know what you're going to see in an old-time wrestling show. It's just everybody. It's just for everybody to have fun. And if everybody's having fun, crowd's having fun, we're having fun. Everybody's fun. And we'll have fun, fun, fun until Daddy takes the T bird away. I mean, it gives a chance for guys like me to be something that I'm 100% not. I mean, look, I'm a prisoner who's from Texas and maybe Mexico, and I wear a sombrero and I speak very little English, I have a mustache, I have Spanish flu instead of cerebral palsy, really makes no friggin' sense whatsoever, but I mean, you know, it's, it's fun, I enjoy this, this is like the show that I look forward to most every single year. Everything is family friendly here and it's a big family environment, so I think it's great that we kind of have this product that's a little like PG and lovely and happy and exists in this like cartoon world of the early 1900s. From the performers to the people in attendance, everybody brings their like A game and is ready to participate and just like jump into the world. I like it because I go to a lot of shows around the country and she won't go with me, uh, but she likes the family friendly atmosphere. We get to play dress up, uh, so that helps. <laughs> Everyone plays along more, I think. You get the people dressing up, obviously, and the whole the presentation is different than anything else. I like the kitschy atmosphere, you know, it's not so serious, um, you know, a wrestling bear. Old Wrestling presents a message from Tracy Smothers. Wrestling with bears. August 30th, Norwalk, Ohio, school wrestling. I'm going to do something that I had done since 89, and that's wrestle with bear. Uh, so how is old wrestling different from other wrestling companies? What uh, what would you say has changed about the wrestling business that we can do this show now? I challenge you not to a dance off, but to a bear off. <laughs> Hey, thanks for your time, man. We'll get you a shirt over. What size are you? All right. <laughs> All right. I work long and hard hours. Excuse me. <coughs> In the factory. All day long. And Thunder Kitty, I'm tired. I'm tired of dealing with you. I'm tired of dealing with your boys. And tonight... We will bring those moonshining, swindling bandits and that dastardly Greg Island to the slap. Swing low, sweet chariot. Eh, lucha libre, eh, me gusta la pizza. Arriba! I'm gonna go back up in them our hills and I'm gonna get wild tonight and I'm gonna dance barefoot on a Saturday night! You know, I was actually having a bad day today in after meeting with them and getting all sorts of hugs and handshakes and wet wishes, I feel like, I feel like a trillion dollars. Not a million, not a billion, but a trillion! <laughs> because Jock Sampson, Mr. Moonshine, is here to stay as soon as I get out of prison.
it's crazy, man. Like, we're out here in the middle of Ohio in a barn. It's 100 degrees, and, like, two or 300 fans came out and sat here and enjoyed three hours of wrestling, and, like, we're into it. And we're kind of like fans like us. Like, they just kind of get it. You know, like, it's like no one's going to believe the Hulk Hogan's beating anybody for real anymore. So it's like the genie's out of the bottle. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. But you can suspend your disbelief and have fun and enjoy the sport of wrestling. A man wrestled a bear, and everyone was into it. It was great. Like, yeah, they played you, along with it. So it's like it's like the fans have become, like, a part of the show as much as the wrestlers. And it's like that's kind of the way it has to go. Like, it's just like this, again, like, not to be over dramatic, but this, like, kind of keeps hope alive of, like, okay, Wrestling can still be fun. All this whole show is based in the twenties. The twenties, the nineteen twenties, the Roaring Twenties, even. Well, wrestling needs to be theatrical in some sense, and I just needed to, to show that as best I could. And since I'm an old-fashioned character, and I knew a lot of barns in Ohio, why not we you know bring it to a, a good old-fashioned barn in Ohio? Uh, I did not expect it to get to this level at all, as far as like fans dressing up and all that. So. Every year my mind is completely blown by the people that have like put on all the effort to make this feel uh, like we're in the 1920s. So doing it was just, I don't know, it's a hard concept to just pop into my head. It's just a kind of evolved into its own thing now. So here it is. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stuff. I try not to. I try not to spend a lot of money on it. I don't really have anything over fifteen or twenty bucks. You know, you don't want to. I'm an adult now. You know, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Just a couple things here and there. Just no big deal. Don't want to spend a whole paycheck on anything. As a kid, wrestling was number one. Going to school, you would have a couple friends that liked it, but you would get ridiculed by everybody else that didn't like it which is just kind of rude. This kid, like two rows ahead of us, turned around and said, yeah, wrestling fans, be quiet. And he lifted up my Hogan lunchbox and kind of looked at it and was like, are you serious? And then from that day on, I always, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. From that day on, I always carried the lunchbox with the picture facing in so none of the kids would see that it was a Hulk Hogan lunchbox. That's really sad. <laughs> I just kind of remembered how sad that is. It's 257 miles to Lexington. We have to stop and get gas. We have half a bag of breakfast sandwiches. It's morning, and we're wearing sunglasses. What the f are you guys wearing? Hit it! That boy is leaving Washington, D.C. and never coming back. My hair is touching your hair! What you have here, dude? <laughs> what? Thank you.